what's going on guys and welcome back welcome back to another season of the walking dead today we're attacking the most recent season of the walking dead season 10 i enjoyed season 9 very much so I had a very thorough review of it um of season 9 if you have not seen my season 9 reactions yet make sure you go back and check those out unless you're one of those people who likes to jump into stuff in the middle but any case let's do this <laughs> anyways guys i'm looking forward to season 10 of course um you guys heard what i said i'm looking forward to happening if it does happen meaning um you know we get to see what i mean they just cut rick off for the for the whole like 10 episodes of the season um 10 i think you he um presumably died in season in um in episode four i think it was of season nine um but we all know that rick is not dead um but we also need to find out about this new faction that jadis is in trouble with or oh or whatever the situation is but i'm also looking forward to seeing maggie come back um I think she will come back in this season. Um, also, you know, other things, you know, not so much the new group, not really, I'm not really feeling them, um, but they are, right, you know what I'm saying? Um, I guess as people die in the show, you got to put more people on, you know what I mean? Um, I, it's kind of like an indication, you know what I'm saying? When you see a new group of people that stays in the um the, ep the 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 show for for like more than a couple of episodes you can practically tell that they're probably going to kill off a bunch of people at the end of the season it's kind of like a tell for the series um that you know somebody's going to die that people actually likes you know what i mean um so as i said man um those people that died the 10 people that the um the whisperers killed um, I'm looking forward to see what the Whisperers got for us for season 10 too, because they're the new enemy. They're the new enemy. And now that everybody is back together, Kingdom is, you know, all the Kingdom people move to Hilltop. So let's see how things turn out, um, as in how they're going to move forward from this. Um, I don't know if, um, if Michonne is going to keep Negan out of the cell or she's going to put him back in. But I wouldn't be surprised if she does put him back in. I mean, he's still a symbol of hatred in the show. And they want to keep him alive for civilized reasons. So, let's see how this plays out. I will see you guys for the review. Alright, so that was The Walking Dead Season 10, Episodes 1 and 2. And I'm already ready for the ride. <laughs> Anyways, those those first two episodes establishing what was going on. Them still not wanting to cross the border. Also, them crossing the border because of the satellite that fell out of the sky. Um was a different way of doing things but it was a way of doing things i like the way how they filmed these two episodes they did a pretty good job of showing what was happening um or what everybody was doing while this um satellite was falling out of the sky or when it happened the big boom right so that was pretty cool um got some pretty interesting things catching us up on what's been going on um negan can now leave his cell go do some work tend to a garden whatever do some work to help the community right so he's basically doing community service while still serving time that's pretty cool so we're getting closer and closer to negan being out i think um i think maybe he's still gonna be in the cell but he'll get more time to be out um also eugene with his his baby skills treating the kid like he's a science project <laughs> you know but that's eugene you know what i'm saying that's eugene um he's a nerd you know what i'm saying and not in a bad way he's a nerd in a in a good way you know what i'm saying so um when it comes on to 
what's going on at Alexandria, they use it, the satellite, as a way to catch us up on everything for, you know, for the beginning of season 10. Then we got a flashback episode of seeing how Alpha and Beta met. So that was pretty cool, too. Um, and also finding out that um, David Hurst, um, I couldn't remember his name, right? It's David Hurst, right? It's David Hurst, David Hurst, Ryan Hurst, <laughs> it's Ryan Hurst, right, um, I know the voice, the voice, man, you know what I'm saying, like, that, for me, I'm not very good with names, but I'm very good with, um, with voices, like, I could hear a voice from, um, very far away and can tell who it is because um i love um music and stuff like that like i grew up in a family of music like we learned how to recognize things like when i learned how to play instruments we had to learn how to play by ear and you had to learn how to to figure out what key people are singing in and to play along with them so that's one of the things like training that i had as a young kid so voices are kind of like the same thing kind of like learning how to play by ear like learning somebody's voice by ear and getting used to it if you're hearing it long enough well if I'm hearing it long enough eventually that person is going to be seared into my brain whereas like if I hear them from far away I can tell oh it's that person that I know it was going to bug me so I had to see the face because the face is not shown in the show so I had to see the face and it turns out is Opie from Sons of Anarchy, which I'm watching right now. So that was pretty cool to find out that he's actually playing this character. Um, so, so yeah, it's pretty cool finding that out. Um, and learning these things, and now Michonne, now Carol, wonder if Carol is going to just make a decision to stay now because um, Daryl wants her to stay. And they've kind of clarified things for us as in what their relationship has been or what it's going to be. And that is their best friends, which I'm cool with. Do you get what I'm saying? Um, I was thinking more of a mother son relationship between them. But hey, best friends is 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 just as OK. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's fine. Um, but she don't want. Uh, she don't have nothing to want nothing to do with Ezekiel. Ezekiel trying to flirt a little bit. It was kind of awkward, you know what I'm saying? It was a little awkward between the two of them. You know what I'm saying? You look good. <laughs> she didn't even respond. <laughs> really. It's kind of awkward between them, and I can totally understand because you know, she being out and also still no Maggie. Maggie stopped sending letters. So I don't know, man. I don't know. I think during this time is when she was filming the the TV show um, Whiskey Cavalier. If you guys have not seen that show, don't make no sense for you to go watch now because they canceled it after the first season. So I was thinking that's why she was missing in season nine. But I guess they're going to figure out a way to bring her back into the show um, because she's not dead. So they're not. You get what I'm saying? Like, if they were not going to bring her back, they would have just killed her character. Like, why wouldn't you not just kill her character if you're not planning to bring her back? Right? Come on, people. You know what I'm saying? So, um, still no update on Rick after two episodes into season 10. I am starting to worry a little bit as if they're not going to bring him back. You know? Or Jadis. But it's good to know that they're actually learning new tactics to go up against these people and they don't know that they've been practicing so this might be good for them going up against the whisperers this new shield spear and and archers thing they got going on um as if this is medieval days <laughs> but in any case man it, i don't understand is it that they don't have that much guns anymore or bullets I don't know that kind of took a back seat because they used to have a lot of guns but now it's just like it seems like they don't really have guns anymore 
were bullets. It was just more arrows more than anything else. Um, I really thought that um, that Eugene would have stepped up with the with the bullet producing or something of the sort to, you know, produce more bullets for the guns. But I guess that's not the case because I don't see when's the last time somebody shot a gun. I think Judith was the only one that shot a gun in season nine. I think if, if I'm pretty sure I'm right about that. I think she was the only one that shot shoot because she shot shoot Negan off the bike well now she didn't shoot Negan she shot the bike Negan fell off the bike I think that was the only bullet that was fired the entire damn season but <laughs> I just don't understand where all the bullets went but in any case guys um that is it I'm looking forward to seeing three and four which I'm going to be doing directly right after this so I will see you guys tomorrow for the next couple of episodes Remember to like the video, remember to comment. I'll catch you guys later. Peace!